hi so in this video i'm going to teach you how to trace and track voltage on laptop schematic so let's get started this is basically the charge circuit where we have the dc jack as you can see over here the dc jack and the charge ic as you can see so here we have the voltage the input voltage so always you should begin with the dc jack as you can see so here we, he we have 19 volts okay so usually the main voltage is 19 volt as you can see so the 19 volt will pass through this inductor this is basically inductor because we have here l so l is the reference for inductor okay and over here we have as you can see some ceramic capacitors so basically the ceramic capacitors has the purpose of filtering they filter the signal and remove the noise from the signal the inductor here is to adjust the current okay so do you see this part here this is a bolded part do you see this is a bolded part but this part for example is not bolded okay so the bolded part means always high voltage so here we have high voltage as you can see 19 volts okay that's why it is bolded but these signals here or path are for control signals like for example 1.2 volt 2 volt 3 volt etc okay but here we have high voltage 19 volt okay so the voltage will pass and will go and pass through this inductor and then ceramic capacitors okay here we will get plus v adapter okay adapter means the charger we will get the plus v adapter so this voltage basically is the voltage that will be distributed to all circuit in the motherboard okay so here the 90 volt will pass as you can see here and then goes to this mosfet okay so here we have a mosfet or switch why we call it switch because because here in each drain we have 19 volt and in the source we will get 19 volt so this is just a switch okay so here these four pins connected together means this is the drain and three pin here means this is the source okay and of course we have here another diode this is basically we use this diode just for protection so 19 volt will pass through this mosfet after receiving the control signal here in its gate and then goes directly as you can see here pass through these resistors this is basically we can call it current sense resistors and then we will get here the plus v bat okay the plus v bat basically is the voltage that will be applied to this MOSFET in order to get the voltage that is necessary to charge the battery okay so the IC here as you can see is the control IC the charge IC controls this MOSFET as you can see it controls this MOSFET okay so in the next slide as you can see we have the same working principle but here we have the power sensor the power sequence here please pay attention because here you will understand everything about voltage tracing okay so here we have adapter as you can see so this squares here means ICs okay this is basically ICs so please pay attention here if you understand this power sequence you can easily understand and troubleshoot any failed motherboard okay so over here we have the adapter and here we have the battery okay so the charger here we have bq 24 703 this is basically the charge ic okay the charge ic so and here we have the current sense resistors exactly the same as this current sense resistor over here do you see two current sense resistor okay so we have adapter charger means the charge ic and we have the battery so the adapter gives 19 volt to charge ic then charge ic will be the responsible that will generate the necessary voltage to charge the battery as you can see here as you can see the main voltage 19 volt 
will go of course to the charge IC in order to charge the battery and of course we will get here also 19 volt this 19 volt main voltage will be distributed to, to the whole motherboard so to the whole circuit in the motherboard including as you can see the 3 volt 5 volt always circuit as you can see so this is the first circuit that will get 19 volt main voltage plus some enable signals as you can see like adapter press like keyboard power on like slip history okay and then this ic after receiving this input signals here the signals we called it inputs and this this is output okay then we will get plus 5 volt and plus 3 volt always okay the main voltage also 19 volt will go and be applied to another circuit we have tps 51 124 okay so i will give you here a very important information for example if you have any reference like this reference for example and you don't know this ic is for what exactly what is the purpose of the ic you can just take the reference here we have tps 51 100 24 and i will show you a very important website where you can find the data sheet of ic's mosfets is etc a very important website that i use in a daily basis okay so i will show you this website so you can just go to google as you can see here and so let's see the reference again so we have here tps 51 124 okay so let's go to google and type as you can see so tps 51 124 okay so and uh, then press enter so of course we're gonna see the first result here as you can see so this is the website i told you alldatasheet.com so let's hit this result here we go as you can see we have here the reference if you want any reference you can just choose here part number and type the reference you want okay so if we move here as you can see we have the same reference tps 51 124 and over here we have the pdf file and this is the description dr synchronous step down control for low voltage power rails okay for low voltage power rails so let's see let's download the schematic or this pdf file in this pdf file as you can see we have 22 pages so let's click over here and then as you can see we have download click again here and then we can just here enter the security code as you can see here so 56107 and then press download so here we go we have here the file as you can see we have tps 51 124 okay so dl synchronous step down control for low voltage power rails so here over here as you can see we have the ic the pinout of the ic etc here we have 1.5 volts in this side and in this side 1.05 volt as you can see so basically these two voltages are for chipsets this is VCCP for chipset for North Bridge and ICs. Okay, and of course we have here many characteristics: power, current, the maximum values, the temperature, etc. Okay, so this is how you can download every data sheet you want for every circuit. For example, if we go here also here, so if you go here, for example, for example the charger. To charge IC will have BQ24703. We can just go here and write here as you can see. So BQ so 24 703 and just press enter as you can see. So we have BQ24703. We have 32 pages. This is multi chemistry battery charger. Do you see? Here we have battery charger control and system power selector. So the same, you can just click PDF file and go here to download and click BQ, the part number, and of course enter the security code. Okay, so 71517 and just click download. Okay, 
and here we go as a guys so this is bq24 703 and of course here in the data sheet it gives us the other anti-generable other circuit or ic that you can use instead of this one for example if you have a, a failed ic with this part number 24 703 you can use also this part number okay so as you can see here this is battery charger okay battery charger here we have features descriptions this is the pinout basically okay and of course main characteristics okay so this is how you can download the data sheet of any circuit or ic you want okay so the same working principle here the 19 volt will be applied to another circuit or ic here basically we have cpu power this is this ic is the cpu controller that will generate the plus vccp plus vgfx this is basically for the graphic card and of course here also we have the ic that will generate plus vcc core for the cpu so this is it guys thank you very much i hope that you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe share and like the video because your likes motivate me to create more and more videos for you thank you very much and please for anyone who want to join me in the patreon page you are very welcome see you in the next video